Good evening. My name is John LeBourne, and I am standing in front of a mansion known as the Mount Vernon, which belonged to George Washington. This historical site was constructed out of wood by George Washington's own father in 1734 to act as a plantation. And this manor was built near the banks of the Potomac River in Fairfax County, Virginia. The total massive land area of the plantation amounts to a staggering 500 acres. And it was only after George Washington's father had died that his brother Lawrence had inherited the estate. And George Washington finally inherited the mansion in the early 1760s when Lawrence and his children had passed away. Once Washington had the mansion, he added to his father's design by raising the roof and adding a second floor, raising the total square footage of the mansion to about 11,000 square feet. And in 1858, the Mount Vernon's Lady Ladies Association bought the manor for around $200,000 at the time, which equates to approximately $6,300,000 today. They paid this enormous price for the manor so that they could run a nonprofit organization to preserve and maintain George Washington's house. Now, this mansion is a tourist attraction, which costs $20 for each adult and $12 for children. Additionally, Washington was buried on the estate and grounds of his mansion. And on his tomb lay these Bible verses, John 11, 25, and 26, which state, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die.